it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to look at the factor theorem, which is probably one of the most important concepts of algebra we cover in Leaving Cert Maths. It's one of the biggest things and it's a very, very common exam question. We're told about the factor theorem here and it says if x equals a is a root of a function f of x, then f of a equals zero. And f of a means we sub a in for x into the function. I'm going to do a quick numerical example just to explain what this means. Let's say I've got a function x squared minus 3x plus 2 and I found the two roots of this function. We'd have x equals 2 and x equals 1. By the factor theorem, if I take my roots, these are my x equals a, x equals a, if I sub these in for x into f of x, it should equal 0. So let's see if that happens. Let's go for f of 2. So we get 2 squared minus 3 by 2 plus 2. So we get 4 minus 6 plus 2. And when we work that out, it is equal to zero. So when we sub our root of two into the function, it equals zero. Let's go for the other root of one. We get one squared minus three by one plus two, which works out to be one minus three plus two, which does indeed equal zero. So that we rule, that we process is the factor theorem. We take our root, we sub it into the function and it equals zero. Next thing we need to cover to work with the factor theorem is moving between factors and roots and factors can be converted into roots and vice versa. So it's kind of like going back to our solving quadratics and solving cubics. If I take a factor x minus 1, how do I find the corresponding root? Well, I let the factor equal 0 and I solve for x. So I get x equals 1. So x equals 1 is the root corresponding to the factor x minus 1. What if we had another factor of 2x plus 3? Well, how do I find the root? I let the factor equal 0 and solve for x. So I get 2x equals minus 3 and x equals minus 3 over 2. We can also convert from roots to factors. So what if I gave you the root x equals minus 2? How do I find the corresponding factor? Well, we do the opposite of solving. We want to get all terms over to the left hand side. So when I do that, I get x plus 2 equals 0. And for the factors, we kind of drop the equals. So I'll just leave it as x plus 2 being the factor. So first thing we need to be able to do is fluidly transition between a factor and a root and vice versa. Let's give a crack on at a very common exam style question. Here we're asked to verify that x minus 2 is a factor of that cubic function. And in order to do so, we'll use the factor theorem. And the factor theorem gives us a rule about a root. If we sub the root into the function, it should equal 0. So first thing I do is I take my factor of x minus 2, let it equal 0, and I find the corresponding root, which is x equals 2. And by the factor theorem, if I sub x equals 2 into my function, I know it should equal 0. If it does equal 0, it is a root and it is a factor, so let's see if that happens. We get a result of 0, and because we get a result of 0, this tells us that x equals 2 is a root, and because x equals 2 is a root, that also tells us that x minus 2 is a factor. So that's how we could verify factors. We transform it into the root, and then we take the root, sub it into the function, and it should equal 0. That's the factor theorem. You sub the root into the function, and it will always equal 0 if it is a root. 